What's good? What's up? What's up? Jolly Goodman. How's it going? I'm chilling, man. How are you? Good, good, good. Just, just vibing. Getting used to the new place. My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. If you're interested in coaching yourself or want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to watch the end of the video for details. Other than that, enjoy the video. Okay, so Diamond 2. All right, not bad. Diamond, damage round. Okay, so 137, 1.04 KD, 90% headshot. Headshot percentage a little bit on the lower end. Oh, okay, but we looks like we op a bunch too. That was the last act. I was opping a lot more. I mean, I definitely still do sometimes. I use chamber, but uh, very recently I've been playing raise. I was gonna go raise if you didn't do that. Fuck it, dude. Fuck these guys. The team comp doesn't matter. What matters is the team's mental about the team comp. You know what I mean? Like, if someone's like, "Oh my god, dude, we have no smokes. FF, go next." That's when you lose because you think that you lose. You know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. No, I, I, I definitely picked that up from your coaching too. Like, if you have someone who's just like being a Debbie Downer, stop that as fast as you can and like yeah. try and, be, you know, push back with some positivity. Nice shot. Oh, that's right. So this is a big problem in Diamond where they all group up one site, they get smoked off, and then they don't do anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. I that's a that huge, sure. huge, huge problem. So what you want to do is you want to try and hit it. If you guys don't hit it right away and you're not forcing it, you need to back off and spread back out to retake space. Because if you just cluster A main, they're just going to pinch you and then contain you. And then it's going to be very hard to win that round. Great peaks, actually. Crossbow Christmas not bad. Run, 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 run. We need to get on site. One's gonna be close here. Fuck, I should've oh, kept my class ago, bro. Nice try. Dude, I think in an alternate universe, you guys probably just rotate off because all three of them were there and you, you still had bomb and B main. Maybe that guy B main just literally just sprints a day. The idea with these save rounds isn't necessarily to win. It's just to get guns out of their hand, to make it expensive for them. That's the whole goal. So even getting one is a huge W. Is it, wor is it worth forcing this? Yeah, absolutely. If you go Light Shield Vandal, if four of you guys do it, then you definitely force up that round. Very nice. One enemy remaining. Nice. Oh, nice try. After your chamber died there in that 1v1, I probably because you're low, you want to avoid the gunfight. You know what I mean? I think yeah. I, I think as soon as he died, I'm backing up and then going gen and then trying to cross into dice or, or hell or something. Like, you know what I mean? Just kind of play a little bit more non-confrontational if, if possible. 100%. No, that was going through my mind, and I was like, oh, I don't want him to peek me as I'm well, like, while you're move, I'm yeah, just hold yeah, him. yeah. No, it's it's hard. It's hard when you're in those clutch situations. A lot of these things are kind of hindsight related, but P cat and push through B. Okay, so these people are playing very aggressive here. Yo, uh, Rain has hit 101 and two tiles. Oh, the clan headshot lined up. All right, I'm going off your ult. Two good comms. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I like the gamble. I don't mind it. Right? I was like, there's no way he sticks out. I was seen on site. Yes, like, no exactly. Way. Exactly, exactly. No, that was good. It was good. I liked it. Mark it. Yeah, another big issue that I noticed that happens around this elo is, uh, as well, One it's they're up remaining. numbers and they're still like solo pushing somewhere you know what i mean the reason that you want to run like a default and spread out like this to take space is to try and work picks and after you get picks like it's a 5v4 5v3 that's it you just immediately group up and hit something because ideally if you just trade off every sort of death that your team gets you're gonna win that round right instead of giving them like a way back into the round or a window back into the round it's just better to group after that so get a pick early on and boom, we just group up and hit something. I don't like backseating. I don't like being backseated, but I find myself doing it sometimes. So what you want to try and avoid is like tell them what to do. For example, like let's say that you you heard like the last two are on A. So you're like, I heard last two are A. You guys should go B, right? Instead of doing that, it should just be like last two are A. You're, so you're relaying information. You're not telling them how to play. Does that make sense? Yeah, and that's for how sure. You, that's how you avoid backseat gaming in general. Or you see a good opportunity to ult. I would just be like, you have your ult. You like remind them in case that they forgot, but you're not telling them exactly what to do. So you're just like relaying important, crucial information without really guiding that. Nice. Sick. Subtle mind control tactics. Uh, yes. Psychological techniques to manipulate people. <laughs> it sounds bad. Cleared. It sounds bad, but we're trying to win here. Okay. Nice playing off of our Phoenix. One enemy remaining. Fuck it, I'm overheating. Yeah. 
Dude, it's a 4v- when it's a 4v1, they don't really have that much time. Yeah, and you're feeling it? Fuck it, dude, just do it. As long as you understand what you're doing, you know what I mean? Like, you even notice it, you're like, okay, I'm overheating. I know this isn't the right play, but fuck it, you know what I mean? I think we have to push something. Oh my god, dude, I heard the satchels. I was like, where is she? <laughs> She's in my face. Yeah, that was tough. That was a really tough spot. I mean, it's understandable because you guys don't have smokes, and usually you would. So the position, if you had smokes, the position wouldn't have been that bad. But because you guys don't, it made it hard. I think what you had to do there was probably push a choke. Like, you either had to push market or you push spawn there. You guys want to play mid again? That one round it worked out really well. We also have an off again. Good. It's a good idea. But I was thinking. Oh, it's over for me, boy. Oh, you're you're by yourself, Fade. I'm one HP. Oh, uh, it was a good try though. When you're low HP like that, you always want to take headshot angles like that. You know what I mean? Because the only way they're gonna kill you is with a headshot, and because you're low, it doesn't matter, right? Oh, that's a good point. I've never thought about that. Yeah, totally like fun, so. headshot headshot angles is just like your best friend when you're low like that. Or oppers. Like I I love peaking oppers when I'm one HP because it's like you know it's a one shot kill anyway. You know what I mean? Nice, nice. well played. We have a pick oh, on B. Yeah, you guys just... You still have all, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he heals him to be here. Yeah, let him... Oh. oh. He needs to push him. Bro, this is giving me anxiety, man. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Jesus. How do you feel about uh, my sheriff buy on pistol? I, I think I already have a nade. But I'm not pushing anything, really, unless we're retaking, right? Yeah, so, I mean, it's a perfectly okay buy as long as you're taking, like, long-range fights with it, right? You're doing something with the Sheriff, like, you're not just playing like you normally would. A or B, sorry, B. Lots here. Out already. Very good name. Oh. That's tough. Uh, six coming, eh? Yeah. They're, uh... Okay, man. I, suggest you move. I can smell the play before it even happens. One enemy remaining. Okay. I love this play. I love this play. Is there- so, I'm curious, what was the reasoning behind wanting to push into there? My teammate called that they were leaving B, so I was like, I can catch them off guard here. And that's good. Like, so the idea was, because you knew that they were B, and they weren't committing to the B, you took space, right? And that's exactly what you want to be doing. So whether that's like pushing through A main and getting yourself even deeper, or this was a lot safer, and it still accomplished the same thing. So it's really good. I love that idea. And that way you're not like predictable on site where they're going to be clearing if they do come in. You know what I mean? Yeah, even if I just like, uh, if there were three there, I probably would have let them all walk by and then walked up and fought them with my team. Oh, they're coming tree, tree hard. Careful aim in. Yeah. Good. Good awareness. They're probably gonna get B. Yeah, they're probably gonna just rotate B. Oh, one A main. One's A main. One's A main, one's tree. They might hit this. One enemy remaining. Yeah. Try and play with the jet if you can. Nice. nice. Wow. Nice, 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 nice. I liked it. I liked the reposition there too, right? They got spotted in dice, didn't get the kill, repositioned to heaven. No, this was good. I actually like the way that you played this a lot. Dude, oh, actually, he's been playing this very well. Nice. Good shit. You're so fucking handsome, Fade. He's playing very well. He's playing very well. There's only a few things that I'm noticing that he's actually one. doing wrong, and it's, it's mainly just positioning. We can FF if you want. I like the way he plays. It's very fundamentally sound. You can nade. Yeah. No, oh, she's so fast. She's already on site. Already on site. Vandal down outside of me. Okay, spike planted. Oh, oh no. nice try. Oh, I didn't realize how close I was to ult. It might have been smarter just to try and get a nade kill there and then ult in. I think it was a little bit like gun control related issues there, like focusing on the spray. I think we like pulled down a little bit too much, but other than that, it, was, it wasn't bad. Satchel out. One enemy remaining. My ult is ready. Nice. I wasn't sure if I should waste it or not, but I figured eh, fuck it, be dude. Safe. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's never really wrong to use your ult to secure a round like that. Um, just to guarantee it, right? I mean, obviously, yeah. like, if if it's like a KJ ult in that situation, probably not, right? But like, something like a Ray's ult, I would probably send it, yeah, why not? Probably nade, yep. One mid, one A, and one B. Okay, I'm, I want to see if he commits this gunfight. Okay. One uh, enemy yeah, remaining. Last one be me. There. He's probably gonna peek tiles here. Oh, no. Never mind. Nice. Nice. Okay. Win. Solid game, dude. Solid game. See? And you didn't have smokes. True, true. It's the mental, dude. It's the mental dip. And, and people are always like, well, we don't have smokes. 
you know, it's 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 a wrap. We're gonna lose, right? It's all just coming down to the mental for the game, and that, this is like a really good indicator of this. This is why I mean, like, you just lot of lock in whoever. It does. It really doesn't matter as long as you're comfortable on that agent and everyone has a good mental. You're chilling. You're you're super chilling. Okay, so let me let me share my screen and I'll go over some stuff. For for the most part, though. I just want to say you played very well. You played very well. All right. All right. So sometimes I'm noticing like we're just kind of just chilling like this, like looking to to see someone when we're doing these kind of jiggle peaks. What we need to be like also thinking about is like if I see somebody, am I going to commit? Right. Like this needs to be going through your head when you're, you're, you're doing this, because like, you know, if you don't have a plan going into it, you might do like, oh, my God, you know, maybe I'm jiggle peeking um, or maybe I'm just playing for info. So the idea should be like this. When should I be actually committing to a fight if I see someone or when should I just play for the info if I don't you know if I just see them I'm playing just just to see if they're here so the idea would be like this like if we're up 4v2 which we were at one point after we got this chamber got a kill mid here and it was a 4v2 this was last round and you're just kind of like playing like this and the idea here is you're strictly only playing for info um because you're up numbers right because like if you're not and you go for this like 1v1 and you commit to it this reina who threw a flash here gets the kill over heals now it's a 3v2 and she has 150 hp right this right. is when it's bad so if you're up numbers now we don't now we don't commit to this and instead we are just strictly playing info we have our jet who's like here in tree and now if we know that he's still here we play off of our just contact jet holds the cross the second jet shoots we peek we peek in and trade so now if we're down numbers it's the 3v4 3v5 we must look for this beforehand so if they're coming into a we can't just like chill here um i mean i guess we could but we run the risk that like let's say one person swings here the other person swings here we get one and they get traded right and it's not good so what would be better in this situation like we're holding this angle we're waiting for them to come and then like if i see someone i'm gonna be like okay i'm just gonna commit to the first one you don't and there's a 4v2 4v2 and they play correctly and then trade you out like first person comes around the corner you get this and the second one comes and trades you it's not beneficial right it's not good so how you're gonna win that round is by going big like you get one here and then after that it's it's a 2v3 after if it was a 2v4 and now that it's a 2v3 then he comes to try and trade his teammate but now you're ready for this guy and then you take another 50 50 you win this one it's a 2v2 your teammates rotating and then you know who knows what you do from here right crosshair placement isn't bad it's more just like sometimes i notice that like you kind of flick when when you flick you flick to their chest sometimes so that's something i noticed but if you whiff you're not committing which is good like it, you just kind of just readjust and then burst and then you get a headshot which is super good so sometimes with our positioning this was our biggest issue that i noticed if at all like it's kind of minor because i think you play this game pretty well fundamentally but that like i mentioned before here with the with the holding this angle when we're low hp it's so hard to win this right we have if we don't get the headshot instantly we lose because we have 20 hp they probably have full anytime you're low hp and you don't know how much hp they have we have to play a little bit more ratty we can't just like full-on take a fight because they're gonna come around the corner and it's like he just has to hit us once and we have to hit the headshot so it's it's very unlikely we win that but if we force him to tap now it's like oh shit is he main we don't know where he is you know like basically like it adds more pressure and a higher chance of success when we do stuff like that so i guess just playing around the spike a little bit more and just being a little bit more cautious of what our hp is when we're clutching just something that we could quickly glance down it's like oh i'm low um, maybe I play the spike. All right. Well, hopefully, you know, good luck in, in your future ranked games and hopefully you have better sleep in the next couple of days. <laughs> yeah, cheers, man. No, I uh, I booked two more sessions with you. So we'll Let's see. I'll, I'll have a, another session coming up here okay. and uh, I will I will be radiant by the time you talk to me next. No. Yeah. Hey, looking forward to it. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the progress. Seriously. All right. Appreciate All right. it, man. I'll, I'll probably see you in uh, January, February, whenever you're available. All right. Sounds good. Have a good one. Take it easy. Yeah, you too, man. Take it easy. See ya. See ya. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description, click the book a lesson button and select your planning time. So if you want to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your discord name without the hashtag and what you learned from the video. I'll be picking out a person randomly.